So, you wanna have one of these, do you? Stay tuned where I tell you fast and easy tips, right? Hello, Trying to Conceivers. Today is Trying to Conceive Tuesday and it is time to get you pregnant. I'm not gonna get you pregnant. That's not how it works. But I am gonna give you some tips that are easy and will get you pregnant fast. This is mainly if you're like just deciding to try to conceive or maybe you haven't tried these methods, but regardless, you're wanting to minimize that time that you're trying to conceive. If you don't know my story, I have four children and all four of those children I got pregnant with with only one time sex. Like we only did it one time that entire month. I've actually gotten pregnant five times. My last one was a miscarriage at the end of June and I'm going to include this in the examples. Alexander and the baby we lost, I did this method with them and I got pregnant like that cycle. With Alexander, we had tried about four or five months after my tubal reversal. And what took us so long to get pregnant with Alexander is that we were trying to girl sway. If you don't know what girl swaying is, it is basically where you are doing specific things to intentionally try to conceive a girl. After month three or four, we were just like, you know what, we're done with this. We waited 10 months to have the surgery. I went through the surgery, Lonnie had to help me. We had to go through the recovery process. And then we've been trying for like four months. So we were like, we are done. Boy or girl, we did not care. The cycle that we had decided to stop girl swing and just do what we normally do and try this method, I got pregnant. This method wasn't intentional, but now that I'm looking back, it seems it definitely works. So I wanted to share it with you guys. What it is, I know you're all sitting on your seat. Quit telling us about your children history. Tell us how we get our own children. So let's tell you. First and foremost, I recommend buying these ovulation tests. They are clinical guard on Amazon. You can get 50 for like 11 to $13. If you're an Amazon Prime member, it's free shipping and it is awesome. I like these when you are trying to use this method because other ovulation tests really give you a long window. For this method, it works perfectly because when I get a positive on this, I know I am ovulating within 18 to 24 hours and usually closer to 18. Sometimes it's been sooner than that. So one time it was like 12 to 18 hours, it was insane. I know that when it's positive, I'm about to ovulate and I need to get my groove on. So I suggest getting these, again, they're clinical guard. This is what they look like. I'm gonna waste one on you guys, but it's okay, I love you that much. Um, it's literally like just a little strip. If you know when in the cycle you ovulate, like I know I'm a late ovulator, so I don't even start using these until like cycle day 14 <laughs> because I'm like, it's a waste of ovulation test. But if, you, if you're if you an earlier ovulator or maybe you just don't know, I suggest starting on cycle day 10. These are why I love these because they're so cheap. So you can use a bunch of them and not feel like it's draining your bank account. So use them, use them, use them. And then once it gets close to a positive, that is when I would start having sex every single night. Even when it gets close to positive, you're only like two days away from ovulation anyway. Once your ovulation test is positive, make sure to do it, even if you haven't done anything. It literally can only take one time. And literally guys, that is it. That is what I did. I didn't put my legs up in the air, pre-seed, I didn't use soft cups. I have used all of those, but it seems like when I do the simplest things is when I got pregnant. I wasn't on vitamins. I was literally doing nothing. Get these, I'll wait till it's almost positive and then just have sex nightly until it is negative. What I would do if it was positive that morning, I'd be like, okay, Lonnie, we're getting it on tonight. I would test before we did it to make sure it was still positive and then I would test again in the morning. So I would test twice a day until it was negative. Once that test line started to get lighter, I knew that ovulation had occurred. So that is how to get pregnant fast. If you have any tips that work for you, please, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber because I am about to start a series of, I wouldn't say fertility treatments, but I'm gonna start it with a video about Clomid and then IUI and IVF. I'm just gonna start doing informational videos for you. I did want to do this one first because I have gotten a lot of questions of like how I got pregnant so fast with Alexander, how I got pregnant with my last one that we lost. I would always say we didn't do anything special, but I really got to thinking about it and I really think that this is what helps, especially since it's what got me pregnant on my last time too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of your support and we will see you next time. Bye.